Hello and welcome back to my channel Learn with Nikhil. So here we have taken an another sum and we'll solve it using Tinkercad software. So this is the figure we have to draw. This is the front view and the right hand side view is given and we have to draw its isometric view. So the dimensions you can see I have drawn this manually also. You can check that out. We'll just draw this in Tinkercad. So we'll take a solid shape. We will first create the base part. So for that the thickness width 65, depth 45 and height 15. So this part we will create first and above that we will place the other objects. Now we have to cut this part. The slant part is cut. So we will take a shape of a hole, a box. We will just rotate it. and arrange it the way we will able to cut the part. So this has been aligned with the proper dimensions. You can just measure and then cut it. Group it and cut it. So this land part has been cut. Now next we will place this part. So we will place a box on top. So the height of it total height that will be 12 plus 12 plus 8 that is 30 so thickness is 30 and height is already given it is given here so according to these dimensions we can make the box so here we have taken a solid shape box height is 30 width we have calculated that is 30 move this up at a height of 15 as this bottom shape height is 15 you have to place it at the corner side as you can see in the image the thickness given is 35 This shape has been aligned. Just once again align it properly. If not then. I've grouped this. So it will become a one shape block. Now you have to cut this part. According to the thickness and height. We'll take a block with the shape of a hole. The thickness is 6. the cut part it is above 15 you have to place this at the center so first I have moved it at the corner. You can increase this thickness as much as you want because it's a total cut part. So we have to move it at the center. So I'll move it at a thickness of 12. So this has been placed at the center. Select group and this part is cut. This part is done. Now only the slant part is remaining. So for that we will take a shape of a wedge. We will rotate it. We will align it. thickness given is 12 
have to increase its width height move it backwards so it is perfectly attached to the surface now from the front side to increase its length we have to increase it till the edge of it the perfect dimension you can calculate that will be like 65 the total minus 12 minus 6 minus 12 will give you 35 so this will exactly get at the tip of this figure now group all and align it once select all and group so as the shape changes as the color changes that means this is the one complete isometric figure and it's perfectly done so you can just compare with the solution which we have drawn manually you can see the lines manually when we draw it we draw this line it's the edge part of the isometric figure now converting this into orthographic to look at its front view this is the front view you can see the slant line looks straight from the front view this is the right hand side view you can compare slant line looks straight so this is the three dimensional figure and just compare with the manually drawn thank you for watching do subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section